Okay, 7.6 solving log and exponential equations. First thing I want to make sure is that we understand, now that we've done expanding and condensing, that this is not the way to expand. Um, the, a lot of people have been asking these two questions, the difference between log and ln. So here are a couple of um, answers, but also why is log assumed to be base 10? And that's because our whole number system is based on 10. We learned to count to 10 first, then we learned to count by 10s. Um, so a couple of interesting facts. We've been doing a lot of these in evaluations, so um, this, this page should be pretty easy. Solve these two equations. I know in order to solve, let's start with the equation on the right, I need my bases to be equal. Since they are equal, I can set those exponents equal. I see that this is a quadratic, so I set it equal to zero by subtracting the x over. I'm going to factor this. Now I have my solutions, x is negative 1 or x is positive 2. Now the easiest way to check these for extraneous solutions, again let's learn how to spell extraneous. It is not x train e us like someone put on a quiz. That is wrong. Um, you know who you are. Um, uh, now, what I'm going to do is, to me, the easiest way is to store. So you type negative 1, store, which will give you the arrow as x. And then I'm going to type in my calculator e to the x squared minus 2. It'll give me an answer. e to the x, it'll give me the answer. And these two answers better be the same. If they're not, then that would be an extraneous. And now I'm going to do the same thing with 2, store x, and check both. If they both check, it's an answer. If not, it's extraneous. What you see on the left is um, the 1 store x and then typing e to the x squared minus 2 and e to the x, and you'll see that they are both equal. So negative 1 would work. I also checked negative 2, and negative 2 would work. So both of those x's would work. Moving to this example, this is just like we were doing in evaluating. We're going to make them go to the same base. So I know 81 is 3 to the 4th, and then I still have that 3 minus x up here. And I know 1 third is 3 to the negative 1 with the 5x minus 6 up here. Now that my bases are the same, I can set my exponents equal to each other. So I'm going to solve the equation 12 minus 4x equals negative 5x plus 6. I'm going to add 5x to the left and subtract 12 from the right. And I get x equals negative 6. Again, I'm going to store x and see if the left equals the right. Right above the steps in the calculator picture that you see now, I did do um, store negative 6 store x. So um, you can see that both sides equal, so negative 6 would be a solution and would not be extraneous. Now. What happens if I can't make them the same base? I cannot make 7 and 15 the same base. So this is where I'm going to have to go to logs. So if you cannot go to the same base, now you will go to logs. So I'm going to put the little swirly and do log base 7 of 15 equals 9x. Okay, we're going to use the alpha window button and we're going to get what log set base 7 of 15 is. Okay, at this point I could write down that 1.392 equals 9x, but I'm rounding, and I don't want to round, so straight away from my calculator I'm going to divide by 9. I also don't want to round here. My answer, if I'm going to write it on a test, is going to be rounded to 3, 0.155. But if I store 0.155 in x, and then type in that expression up top to see if it equals 15, it's not going to equal 15 exactly. I want to, as you can see, I stored x right here. 
so I took the log, I divided by 9, and then I store x as the full decimal. I'm now going to type in 7 to the 9x, and it better give me 15. And you can see that it works. So x equals 0.155, because I round to 3, is what I'm going to put on my test. Okay, on this, I'm going to isolate my e. So I'm going to subtract 6. And I cannot make the base of e and the base of 7 equal. So I must go to logs. Draw the swirly. e, uh, sorry, going to bases. I'm in exponents, so I need to go to logs. So I'm going to log base e of 7 equals 2x minus 3. Okay, I know log base e is ln of 7 equals 2x minus 3. I'm going to type ln 7 into my calculator and get a big long number, and I'm not going to round. I'm now going to add 3 to that number, and then I'm going to divide 2 by that number. I do the whole thing in one sweep in my calculator, and I get that x should equal, now I'm going to round, 2.473. I am going to store the number on my calculator as x. So in this calculator picture, this number right here is ln of 7. Notice that I added 3, I divided by 2, and I stored my answer as x. I now am going to type in the complete left side of the equation. So I'm going to type in e to the 2x minus 3, e to the 2x minus 3, get out of the exponent plus 6, and that gives me 13. So this answer is a good answer, and it's not extraneous. Okay, so let's look, move on to logarithmic equations. Let's again agree that if I have log of x equals log of 2, that x has to equal 2. They're both base tens. So in this first example, since log base 3 of this equals log base 3 of this, these two guys have to be equal the easiest of all the equations. So all I do is set 5x minus 4 equal to 2x plus 5. I get 3x equals 9, so x equals 3. Again, I'm going to store 3 as x. And I'm going to type in alpha window. And I will type in my base and my 5x minus 4, press enter. I get 2.8 blah blah blah. I will then do the same thing, alpha window 5, type in my s the right side of my equation, and I get 2.8 blah 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 as well. So 3 is a solution. Okay, on this one I do not have a log on both sides, so I can't do anything except go to exponents. So when I only have one log, I'm going to go to exponents. And I'm going to get 7 cubed equals 2 minus x. 7 cubed is 2, mm, uh, 243, nope, 343. I'm going to subtract 2 and divide by a negative. So x is going to be negative 341. I now am going to store that as x and type in the left side of the equation. So I store it as x, type in my log on the left side, and I see that it equals 3. So I confirm that negative 341 is the solution to this logarithmic equation. Okay, so here I have two logs that I'm going to have to condense together first. So remember, if I'm adding right here in the middle, I condense this side to multiplication. So I get log of 5x times x minus 1 equals 2. 
Now I have to remember that the base of this is 10, so I'm going to do my little swirly. 10 to the second equals this. I get 5x squared minus 5x equals 100. Okay, 10 squared is 100, and 5x times x minus 1 is this. It is a quadratic, so I'm going to set it equal to 0. 5-factor get your solutions and check both for extraneous and what you find is that 5 works 4 gives us a not real number because if I put negative 4 in here. I'm going to get a negative log. You can't, you can't get a negative answer when you're squaring something. So um, 4 would be extraneous. Okay, so here's the last tricky problem. This is one of the last on the 7.6 worksheet that you're going to get in class tomorrow. So um, there are two or three of these Problem. So here's an example of how to do this. I obviously can't make the base of 3 and the base of 2 the same, so I have to go to logs. And it just looks a little weird. So um, let's see if I can get this a little fatter. Okay, so I'm going to go to logs. There's my little swirly. So I'm going to do log base 3 of 2 to the 4x equals x plus 1. Okay, and let's remember our rules. I'm allowed to bring that out in front. So I'm going to change this to 4x log base 3 of 2 equals x plus 1. Okay, now I'm going to put in my calculator what is log base 3 of 2. So log base 3 of 2 is approximately 6 0.631. So I'm going to have 4x times 0.631 equals x plus 1. Now, be careful here, okay? I'm rounding in my problem, but I'm not going to use 0.631. On my calculator, I have 0 0.6309 blah blah blah. I'm going to keep that on my calculator. I'm going to multiply that by 4, and I get 2.52, I really want that to be in black, 2.524x equals x plus 1. Same thing, okay, I'm rounding here but not on my calculator. I'm going to subtract that 1x, and I get 1.524x equals 1. And now I'm going to divide by 1.524. So on my calculator, <clears throat> I'm actually going to take 1 and divide it and go up and grab the actual number. Okay, so I get x equals, I'm going to round my answer to 0.656. Okay. Here is where I do my final rounding. I'm not going to round on my calculator. I'm not going to use this number or this number or this number. I'm going to use the actual number on the calculator. And I'll take a couple of screenshots of the calculator. Okay, so to the right you can see what I've done. I typed in log base 3 of 2, took that direct answer, no rounding, multiplied it by 4, subtracted 1, okay? That subtracted 1 is also right here. Now, I typed in 1 and grabbed the answer I just got. So 1 divided by that, there's my x equals. And here's where I round. Okay, 0.656. Now, down here, I stored this as x. I typed in the left side of the equation. I typed in the right side of the equation. They both are equal. So this answer is my solution. Okay, that was log on. Now we're going to log off. Talk to you guys later.